Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nastin Padasali. So after this NTS releases the revised score for joint CSR examination, many students are looking forward when the result for this joint CSR UGC NET examination will be released or when the cutoff will be released for joint CSR UGC NET examination. Because with respect to scorecard, you can't able to say whether you clear the exam or you didn't clear the examination. And another disclaimer I'm giving you friends, please don't judge yourself bad by suggesting by, uh, by watching NTA score alone. NTA score doesn't have nothing with your mark. Okay, so if you are getting for 200, if you are getting 100 mark or above 100 mark, then definitely either JRF or either LS will be for you. Okay, that's the thing I'm telling you with respect to percentile. Again, I'll, I'll share with upcoming. Uh, time point of this particular video itself so with respect to result when this result for this joint CECR exam June 2021 will be released so if you check on the last year statistics of all those results you can be able to see the exam has been conducted on the month of November and if you check on last part of this result PDF the date of declaration of result is on February Okay, so February they had conducted the exam on last month of 2020 and by the February of next year only they had releases the result. Like they had taken 60 days of processing time starting from releasing the scorecard. Like I am speaking about after releasing the scorecard. So they had released a scorecard on 29. Okay, so the exam was conducted on November month of 2020 and they released the result on end of the year. Okay, and if you see the result, they have released the result on end of February. So they have really taken two months, which is literally a 60 days of time period. But this is after Corona era. But before Corona era, if you watch the thing before Corona era means, okay, so here you can able to check with respect to this particular thing. So you can take another year as example also friends. So if you take this 2019 December examination cycle, they had conducted the exam on last, last week of December. They had completed the uh, exam everything. But if you check on the result, they have released the result that is state of declaration result on 23rd 1, 2020. Let me, within 30 days itself, they have released as the result for this examination friends. Okay. And if you check on in this particular CSER UGC net exam june 2021 and when the result will be declared means so based on this particular comparison currently we need to have the result in our hand okay since the exam was completed on february 17 itself with march 17 they have to release the result but till now we didn't get the result okay and many students are suggesting or uh, telling me like today the cutoff as well as results will be declared like that okay and if you check on the cutoff also first they will release is the result pdf only so this is how the result will be okay so they once they had given an announcement of result has been declared you have to download this pdf and you need to keep them as a safe okay after downloading the pdf you need to give control f and you need to put your roll number okay so make sure you're having your roll number in a hand okay so if you're putting your roll number you your roll number has to be listed in this particular column that means you have cleared the examination okay and if you're clearing in the jr of csa i mean csa will give a fellowship that's major uh, thing i have discussed already itself maybe i'll give the link uh, below uh, okay you can please check about okay after releasing the result either on the same day itself they will release the cutoff or they will take they will take at least one week of time period releasing the cutoff details but first thing they will release the result pdf only okay so based on my suggestion within this week or two to three days of this particular week itself they need to release the result because they will be conducting this joint csar ugc net examination june 2022 okay because they need to bring, bring back the uh, previous examination cycle like previously the exam was conducted twice one is on june month and another one is on december month to conduct the exam on june month they will release a notification by the end of april like online application portal will be open on march month and they will release they will conduct the exam on june month and they will release the result on july month and they will go for next examination cycle so if they are in that particular mode they need to release the result by the end of march month itself and april month they need to 
look forward of all the verification of document for those students who qualify this June 2021 examination. In the month of May, they, they will release the online application portal. They will open the link. They will give you any kind of information regarding June 2022 examination and they will conduct the exam in June 22. If that particular is the case, means within two days or within the end of this March month, you need to get the result PDF in your hand. Along with the result PDF, you should have your cutoff in your hand. Okay, and next thing is that many students are worrying about uh, whether I am getting this much percentage, whether I will clear the exam or not. See friends, for junior research fellow, if you belong to OBC, uh, sorry, if you belong to general category or EWS category means, if you are getting above 98 per percentile means you will clear the examination. If you are OBC means you should get above 95 percentage i'm speaking about percentage next if you are a scst candidate means you should get above 85 percentage then you will clear jrf okay next thing if you are a person with disability you should get above 75 next with respect to lectureship i'm telling you if you belong to general category and ews category means you should get above 97 percentile or else if you are obc category means you should get above 92 to 95 and if you are SC ST means you should get above 80 and if you are a person with disability means 75 percentage. And many students are asking about chance, chance like if you are giving your NTA percentage, I am telling you there is no uh, relationship between the NTA, uh, you can't able to predict anything from NTA, nothing, nothing you can't able to predict. Sometimes the NTA score for a candidate will be very much less but the mark scored by the candidate will be very much high. Since we are speaking about percentile system which is very much different from that of a percentage system. So, this is what the thing is friends. So, if you are, I already discussed everything from you. Okay. So, really we students can't able to wait uh, once we don't know whether we clear the examination or we didn't clear the examination because many will be worrying about your result everything. Okay. So, please friend just wait for 2 to 3 days or today itself for the good news to be uh, produced in this particular official website so if they have given any update regarding cutoff or result pdf has been released means definitely i'll do share with you okay so please subscribe to my youtube channel only then it will be very much helpful for you so that i can update you any information regarding this particular examination cycle or june 2022 examination cycle thank you friends thanks for watching this video